Hey everyone, it's Dylan from the Black Forest Wood Company and I'm just here out front of our store in Calgary, Alberta and I want to take everyone through and show you a shop tour. A lot of you may know about our shop that we have in the back but we also have a retail store and a full school of woodworking. So that's what we're here today to show you. Let's head inside. So this here, this is the retail store and this would be the first thing that anyone sees when they first come into our shop. Um, Obviously lots of wood right off the bat, but we do have all different supplies, finishes, tools, machinery, different things like that. We have our Osmo display. You guys have probably seen us use lots of Osmo for finishing all of our tables. Uh, we also have general finishes. Uh, you know, a lot of those we use their different colors, their dyes and stains. They're really, really good as well. Um, this is the front desk actually here. So this is where you'd come to pay, you know, once you've picked out your item, this is where you'd be greeted by everyone and pay for your product. So before we go there, let's head over this way. This is sort of our machinery area. So we carry Laguna, Powermatic, King, um, all different kinds of brands in here from band saws, table saws, planers, anything that you can kind of imagine that's tool or machinery related, we try and carry it. We have all different staff that can help people out. You can pick your machines, either we have it in stock or we order it in. But then in here, this is actually the classroom. So you've probably seen videos of like Terry turning or you've seen carving classes. That's, that's where this goes on. So Terry will usually be right here. He'll be turning on the lathe. And then we've got in here all different stations set up for students. So you've got like one, two, three. Uh, we sometimes use this one when we have a full class. And then we've got another three on this side. So we can, we can take up to like eight students sometimes, even if we squeeze another lathe in here. So it's, it's just a really good space. And we, I think Terry, he taught his 175th Fundamentals of Wood Turning class over, over the last couple weeks here. I think he's put through like 5,000 students through his course. So it's pretty amazing for him to be able to say that. Going back out in the front, again, one of the first things people notice is all the wood. And one comment we hear a lot is the smell. People come in and they say they just get like this overwhelming smell of wood. Unfortunately, we're kind of used to it right now. So we have over, I think it's over like 130 different species of wood. A lot of it is in dimensional lumber. But then in the past few years here is kind of the, the whole table trend has picked up. We've brought in a lot of live edge slabs like this. So we've got these, these are our coffee table slabs we call, they're our shorts. So kind of for the DIY customers who are trying to make something on their own. Uh, we've got bigger slabs for people as well if they're trying to make a dining table. This is probably our most popular kind of slab that we bring in. So they're, you can see they're a little skinnier um, and they're all kind of random widths and random shapes and they're mostly for charcuterie boards is what people are using these for. This is all the big stuff. So a lot of these slabs are getting quoted for custom jobs like the dining tables you see us create. This is kind of where we're picking our material from. In here, I'll let you guys just take a quick little peek. This is the, the showroom slash office. We just had a trade show not too long ago, so it's a little bit messy in here. But this is where we try and keep all of our pre-made items. So any coffee tables, dining tables that are available for sale, we try and have them in here. This is for actually a giveaway that's going on right now, and it'll still be going on right now. I think it ends like February 9th. So it's, this is the base, and then this is the top, just for a nice little end table. And you can win this thing right on our Instagram. You'll see a post that says giveaway on it. All you have to do is tag a friend. So don't miss out on that. We'll head back into the into the back shop here now. Kind of showed everyone around the front. You can see lots of wood, tools, and slabs. But now we will head into the back. First thing, let's go up to the guitar studio. So this is our guitar studio. Uh, this is where Brad will teach the students and he takes them right from scratch through the whole process of building a guitar. This is one kind of in the early stages. You can see he's just bending the sides right now. So I think this is Zircote, that's the type of wood. There's the back for their guitar. As you can see, they, they glue down the bracing and then all of this gets carved by hand afterwards. So a lot of fine detail work there. These, I believe, are some more sides getting bent in here, and this is actually our, our steam bending machine that we use. So this, this whole thing plugs in and powers up, and it actually generates a lot of heat, so that when you put your pieces of wood in between here, it'll help it bend. These are some necks. These are really cool. 
This is a Brazilian cherry neck, is the, the brown colored wood, and then that black strip you see in the middle is ebony. And then this one, another guitar neck here. That same strip in the middle, that's an ebony inlay, and then this one is actually quilted maple neck. So you can see it's got like that kind of 3D effect to it. And these, all four of these necks are going to be used for students in the class right now. So to go with one of those quilted maple necks, we've got this awesome guitar here. I think it's a, it's a yellow cedar top. You can hear the ring on it, and then you can see the back. It's got that same really nice figure. Same thing on the sides. That one, you can see all the bracing inside. It's already been carved. So this, this guitar is getting close to about halfway done. The body is about 50% and then attaching the neck and carving the neck, that's about another 50% of the work. Let's go take a look at the shop and see what's getting made. This is what we call our rough milling area. So any lumber like this, any straight edge lumber, I think Doug here is actually working on a, just a straight edge walnut glue up. That's where all this gets done. So we have like a radial arm saw to cross cut the length. We've got a table saw for width two planers. That's our old CNC machine. So it's a it's a BSC machine and we've had this one for like 11 years now and mostly this would get used for door parts. So when we're building the components and different parts of a door and we need that really precise joinery, that's getting machined on here. But as we started uh, building more tables, we realized that it wasn't necessarily a good thing to put those really heavy slabs on there. So we got this machine. So this is from CNC Router Parts. It is a 18 foot 6 long bed by 6 feet wide. So this really increases our capacity. That old CNC over there could only do 10 feet by 4 feet. So we've nearly doubled what we're able to do with this machine. And it's we've actually got some really exciting things planned for it. Well, this is cool. Our granite inlay river table. So it's just a test. Keep in mind. We didn't really select the, the granite or the wood to go with each other, so we're not necessarily super happy with the colors or the way that they go, but what we are really happy with is the fit, and that's exactly what we were testing. So it's a, it's a perfect tight fit, and this is all cut with CNC joinery. Um, the granite is cut by Bort Stone and Tile down at their shop. They have a, a water lubricated CNC machine. And then the wood is obviously cut on our CNC machine, on the CNC router parts. So we just make a file that is the exact shape that we want to cut, and then we send it to Bort Stone and Tile, and they make the perfect matching fit for it. Now, these slabs here, these are some very, very special pieces of wood to us. This all came from Gobi Walnut in Oregon, and it's Oregon Black Walnut, also called Clara Walnut but these slabs are absolutely beautiful. As you can see, they're super thick. A lot, a lot of the wood we get in is only about two inches thick, where this is like three inches. Um, some of these slabs, if you come around with this bottom one, I think this one's five inches thick on the very bottom, and it's almost like five feet wide down here. And it's all, you can see all kind of the variation in the grain, and then even some of the live edges on these. This has got like that, that almost rippled. When you see like a rippled live edge like this, where it looks like water, that's a very good sign that the wood is probably gonna look that way as well. So once we clean these up, we may even do a video on these, just showing everyone the kind of material we got. I, I think you're all really gonna like it. Now, another exciting thing that hasn't been announced yet, so all of you people here on YouTube are gonna know about it first, Gobi actually sent us this top slab for a giveaway. So this is going to be probably posted on our Instagram, I'm thinking but anyone is gonna be available to win this. You know, you're all gonna have the opportunity to win this slab. It's gonna be the same thing as the end table giveaway. You're gonna to have to tag a friend, follow Gobi, and you'll have a chance to win this Clara Walnut slab. In here, this is our, this is sort of our, our we call it, like it's our room with the slab rack. We used to call it our assembly room because we used to build our doors in here. But now, up against the wall here, this is where we basically keep all of our storage for tables that are either in progress or about to be started on. This is the oval table. When I showed you on the CNC that we are gonna be doing an oval, this is it. So you can see it's roughly kind of oval shaped with straight edges on it, but we're gonna, we've got a program we wrote that's gonna come along, trim all of the top sides so we get that nice oval shape. 
Then we'll flip it to the bottom and we're actually just going to be machining like a 3D oval to, to lighten the profile of this table. So there'll be, there'll be time lapses and everything like that on Instagram showing this piece. These are butternut. Now, they're very, very big and butternut is very hard to get nowadays, but this is a completely salvaged tree. As you can tell by all of the all of the wormholes and bug holes, this tree was very sick. It had been infested with some kind of worm or bugs, probably the canker worm. That's what's doing the most damage on butternut nowadays. So luckily we're still gonna be able to use these slugs since they were harvested at the perfect time. And you know, we actually, when we see something like this, like rot or any imperfections, we are drawn to it because it's a chance for us to try and make a feature out of it, you know? Instead of these being imperfections that people want to get rid of, we try to make them features that people actually look for. So that's our shop. This is where we do most of the actual woodworking down here. But now we'll take you upstairs to show you our pour room. This is the upstairs. We use it for a few different things. Um, out here right now, this is usually where the finishing area is. So any tables that have been all cut and sanded, we'll bring them up here and this is where the finish gets applied. So this is all finishing. This side up here, this is where we actually have our tool storage. So I showed at the beginning of this tour, our, uh, our little area in the front store, where we have like the band saws, table saws, all that kind of stuff. This is where we store it. So if someone came into our store, they'd say, oh, I want a Laguna 1412 band saw. Well, then we come up here, find our Laguna band saw, bring it down and people can drive away with them. Now, here's the pour room. The spray foam insulation just got completed today. So the reason we actually had to do that is because in the summer months, it would get so hot in this room that we couldn't pour resin at all. Like we can get away with it in the winter, it's not a big deal. But as soon as it starts getting warm in the summer, since we're upstairs uh, and the roof on this building isn't very thick, it would get like 35 degrees in here. It was just so, it was horrible actually. It was, we'd be finishing up here, you'd be sweating, and it was just horrible. So. We built this room. It used to be this big. I mentioned that in the last video. Now it's twice as big. We got new lighting all done. So we only used to have four lights in here before. Now we've got eight. And then everything's been spray foam insulation so that we can use our air conditioners to keep this place cold. But this is right now, just high and dead. We're just working on a, on a mold for, this is actually a kitchenette table. So we've got this pouring table here. We've got one more pouring table here, and then our plan is to actually build a third one. And that would allow us to do either three pours at one time, or if we needed to do a really long table, we could now pour up to 30 feet. With, with these two tables, we can only do 18 feet, so it, it worked for the Cadillac job, just barely, but this would allow us to do even bigger projects. Before closing this thing up, I also wanted to let everyone know about a really exciting giveaway we have planned. So it's it's going to be given away here on YouTube, but we're going to get everyone to engage with it through Instagram. So kind of what we're planning is we'll take a couple pieces of wood and we're going to do polls. And we're going to build a piece together with you guys. So you'll pick the piece of wood, you'll pick whether it's a resin or a cast or no resin. You'll pick the resin color, you guys are going to get to pick the legs, and we're going to do all of this through Instagram polls and we're gonna be vlogging while we do the whole thing. So by the end of it, we should have a video ready to release that is gonna show basically the, the start to finish process of a piece that, that you guys have designed. But that's coming next week. Uh, I appreciate everyone watching our shop tour. We showed you the front store, the shop, the pour room. But that's about it, and we'll see you next week.